So what inspired Mr. Crisp? Mr. Crisp was inspired totally by accident when I came up with the idea to make creative Rice Krispies treats in my kitchen. I don't know how to cook. I can't make anything besides Rice Krispies treats to this day. And I was invited to a potluck birthday dinner and Rice Krispies treats were the only thing I knew how to make. So a friend suggested that we make a Rice Krispies treat surfboard. I Googled it and there was a recipe for a Rice Krispies surfboard on the internet because the internet has everything. And I put food coloring into the surfboard recipe and the minute I realized you could color it, I had this immediate and overwhelming impulse to make a cheeseburger out of Rice Krispies treats. So I made it, I posted it on Instagram, I broke 100 likes for the first time. On your personal? On my personal Instagram. Brought it to work the next day, I was working at Elizabeth and James at the time and everyone there freaked out. And I really enjoyed the process of making it, but I also really enjoyed people's reactions. So I just sort of kept experimenting for about a year. So from the time that you brought that cheeseburger hamburger thing in, that was <laughs> James, how soon did you leave and go off and do Mr. Chris? It was almost a year to the day, actually. Wow. It was like a year and two weeks after I made that cheeseburger that I left Elizabeth and James. Tell me a little bit about your personal style versus style for Mr. Chris. So my personal style is a lot more relaxed, casual, and easy. I wear a lot of jeans and white t-shirts. My go-to. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas with Mr. Crisp, I like to be a little bit more playful, a little more reverent, a little bit more colorful, sort of to match the reverent tone of Mr. Crisp. Would you say that's who your follower is? I think my follower is very diverse. Mm -hmm. I think that you know who my follower is and what my follower wants to see are two different things. So I think that you know, especially when looking at social media, it's so important to have a perspective and I think that very naturally for me it wasn't like something I thought about deliberately like oh I need to dress a certain way when I am doing things for Mr. Chris that are being photographed. Well and I think I mean it's so colorful it's so fun so you know when you're creating that and you're being creative like you want your personality and your style to also reflect, reflect right. it on yeah, it all, sure. as well so I think it's important too. Tell me about your daily routine. Oh God. Are we are we waking up that stove's on and we're making Rice Krispies at 8 in the morning for breakfast? Every day is really different for me. Uh, the thing that I do like to do every day, so I, I definitely spend a lot of time on email. So that's something that tends to, you know, a lot of people think that all day I'm in my kitchen making Krispies, doing food art, but there's a lot of back end work that goes into running any kind of business. You guys understand that mm -hmm. also. So I think that I definitely try to get my cooking done as early as possible so I can then focus on the other elements of the business. So do you go to the grocery store to buy your Rice Krispie? Or do you How Amazon many that? times are you buying Rice Krispies? That's <laughs> what I want to know. I get them from all different places. So sometimes, like whether I'm out east and I stop at Target or Walmart to pick things up, which is hopefully what I will get to do this weekend. And how, uh, how many boxes you buy? At, like so many. People follow me around Target. And they're like, what are you doing? And everyone always makes the same jokes too. It's like, oh. But how are you able to plan ahead? Because I'm sure you get, I mean like, you were explaining to us earlier, as Jessica basically designs, you know, a new kind of Rice Krispie treat design, she posts on Instagram and then she'll just constantly get requests for it. Like, how are you able to plan ahead and know that I'm going to need a hundred boxes of Rice Krispie treats uh, for this week? I'm not able to plan ahead, but fortunately I live in Manhattan where you could have anything delivered under an hour. Are you sending your so. interns to every bodega in New York City? I actually don't send my interns out, but I have like Max Delivery and Amazon Prime one hour people that like know me by name. It's like net a porte yeah. here at Cyber <laughs> City or Shore. Yeah, you know, whatever stores in the New York area. Yeah. But the biggest challenge is getting good marshmallows because, especially in the summer, the is marshmallows tend to stick type? together. I'm not really particular about brand, Puff? but <laughs> Jet Puffed is great. Uh, but I'm not particularly, I'm not particular about brand, but they tend to stick together in the summer, so it's important to get marshmallows that have been preserved properly. Absolutely. Talk to us about this exciting new book launch. How did you come up with it? How, like, what are, what's everything going on? Was it part of the business plan? <laughs> was that so, the goal? Yeah, I definitely did not and probably sort of still do not have an actual business plan, but the book is something that happened. I'm also a writer. Mm -hmm. I was, I left my job really first and foremost to go get an MFA in creative nonfiction at the new school. So, and Mr. Chris was something that I was just sort of casually doing on the side exploring. Like oh really? Yeah. I love it there. Love it. Best school and ever. Best school ever. And I, I really did love it there. And I... You actually learned something there. Yeah, I, I learned a lot. <laughs> nice. And so I left, um, I left my job to really pursue creative writing, and so a book was always on my mind, but I was thinking it would be a literary book, but I never thought I'd write a cookbook. And an agent approached me right as I was starting school, and she was like, Mr. Chris is a book. I'm telling you, it's a cookbook. I was like, there's one recipe. How could it be a cookbook? Right. And I was like, I'm busy with school. Like, let's talk. 
you know, when I'm done. And she was like, no, 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 this is timely. You have to do this now. And so she kind of just like never gave up on me and she's still my agent. I love her. And she really, really forced me to put together this proposal. We went out to publishers and we got an offer from Workman, who's a perfect partner. And now Treat Yourself is coming out, which I'm is so really excited. excited for Treat Yourself. So it's one recipe, but it shows you how to make it into 93 different projects. So, so Silas to a T followers, we're very excited that we're going to be dressing Jessica for the Today Show and also for her book launch, which will be taking place at the Strands in New York City. And I'm sure she's going to have many more events coming up, so like, be yes. sure to follow us, follow her, we'll keep you posted. And we might actually do a collab. Yeah. This book is be amazing. It not only looks gorgeous, but it also feels good too. Yeah. Which and so I bet it tastes good too as it well. Does. Yeah. And especially for me, who do, who's not really hands-on in the kitchen, I'm excited <laughs> to have a new project to possibly work on from home. And what are you going to make, Al? You know what? It's Like she said, it's such an easy treat that you could bring over to someone's home and really in a fashion-forward way. Exactly. You know, you can really I mean, Alex knows how to make the challah. Now we're on to Rice Krispie. <laughs> Eggs. I can make eggs. I don't know, Al. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for letting thank us do you. this, and um, we're very excited for you guys to be following Jessica Siskin from Mr. Chris.